Hey Vision Chasers, it's Dr. Bird here. And in my hand, look what I have here. I have a $20 bill. And here's what I'm gonna do. For the 20th person that likes and comments in this video, that likes and comments in this video, I will send this $20 bill to you. Okay, that's a deal. Now, <laughs> um, where was I going with that? Okay, here's where I was going with this. This $20 bill is simply a piece of paper. That's all this is. Now, I know you're thinking, ah, oh, it's a lot more than that because I want it. And the reason that you want it is because we, society has accepted that this right here, paper that looks like this, people uh, in society have, have decided that they will accept it uh, in exchange for goods and services. Now it's got to look like this. It can't look like some monopoly money. No one's going to work 40 hours a week uh, for a bunch of monopoly money. They want money that looks like this. Let's think about that for a second because this is a piece of paper, but its value comes from the fact that people are willing to accept it. People want this and they can use it in, in exchange for other things. On the day you graduate, uh, eventually, you don't get it on the day you graduate, but eventually you're going to get a piece of paper that's called your diploma. So let's think about that. Everybody on the day of graduation, everybody gets a diploma. But here's the thing. I wanna ask you this question. What's backing a diploma? What's backing a diploma? Because not all diplomas are the same. You see here with this piece of paper, what, ba what really backs this is the fact that society, everyone in society has accepted that, okay, this has value and we want it and we will use it in exchange for goods and services. But think about a diploma. There is something, there's some effort, there's some energy, there's some time, there's some sacrifices that go with earning a diploma, but not everybody puts in the same amount of time, energy, and effort, and passion into getting their diploma. You see, you have students who will skate by. Let me just take the easy class, the quote unquote easy classes. Let me just get a deed so I can just get through, get by, get by, get by. And then you have the people uh, who have challenged themselves. So they've taken upper level classes, they've taken honors classes, they've taken AP classes, they've done the extra work, they've stayed up, they've studied, they've sacrificed. I submit to you that that diploma has a great deal more value than simply just skating by. Again, all the diplomas, they, they look the same, they're, they're, made, they're made of paper, but that diploma, the diploma where one student puts in all that time and sacrifice and energy, that has a greater value because with that diploma comes a higher GPA and colleges love to see that with that diploma on that transcript, there's going to be those upper level classes and probably active in the community. So that diploma carries a lot more weight and that diploma opens up a lot of doors doors of opportunity for you in the future. So what I'm encouraging, to, encouraging you to do, here's the bottom line. The bottom line is you want to make your diploma valuable to others. You want colleges to say, you know what? I like what's behind your diploma. Your diploma has a lot of value to us. So here, come on into our university. Here, we'll give you money to come to our university. That's what you ultimately want to happen on the, on the day you graduate. That's how you add value to your diploma by doing the things your teachers ask you to do, challenging yourself, going above and beyond, pushing yourself, even though you feel like, oh, these teachers are giving me way too much work. I don't want to do anymore. Pushing yourself even more because in the end, you're going to be so happy because you're going to have all of these different opportunities for you because you made the sacrifices while you were in high school. So I want you to think about that. And until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. Bye.